Hi guys, Steph here. Take a look at this gorgeous, beautiful pen. Absolutely gorgeous. What we've got for you here is the Swan Maybe Todd L242-52 model. Now the L242s came in a couple of different colours, I believe, well, I don't believe, they actually did a black one with uh, jade bands, which I believe I did a video a little while ago. I'll leave you a link to that to the end of the video. They also brought out um, the sort of, com well, not common, the, the jade coloured fountain pens. They brought out, I think it was like an orange swirl coloured pen. And I've also seen what they term as a black vein pearl coloured pen. So they brought them out in lots of different, well not lots, but um, numerous different colours. This one, as you can see, is this beautiful lapis blue colour. Very, very sought after pen. And as I say, these the L242s are actually very sought after fountain pens within the Swan range of vintage pens now this one is what they term as a self-filling pen if i let's see where the barrel imprint is it's a little bit on the worn side but if you can see there i think it says self swan self-filling pen and then underneath it has maybe todd and company new york and then it has a patent patent number and a patent pending number so a little bit on the worn side what it also has to the bottom of the barrel here somewhere again a little bit worn but with my loop i could see that it said made in new york so nice and simply this particular model or this particular pen was made in new york the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 133 millimeters capped the diameter of the barrel approximately um, around about 11 millimeters in diameter now one of the other imprints that it has if we show you the end of the barrel there you'll see the model number l242 5052 and then to the very top of the cap You've got the sort of customary Swan logo to the very top of the cap there. You'll notice it's got gold fill trim. It's a lever fill pen, as we've just mentioned, quite a long lever. It's got the cap bands to the cap there. You can see it's got this quite a broad one with two thinner ones to each side. We've got the lovely sort of ball clip to the top of the cap there with a swan logo to the very top we've got a little cap band or not cap yeah a cap band should i say to the very top of the cap there but all in all an absolutely gorgeous pen especially as i said in this lovely lapis blue color now the pen came to me a little bit in a sorry state it had a well it was quite a scratched pen quite a sort of had lots of marks on it we've cleaned it up slightly there is still some marks here and there but in my opinion it's now 100 percent better than it was and it's very very well a very acceptable pen in my in my opinion absolutely gorgeous let's show you the pen in different angles like so beautiful color as I said we've put a new sack in it so it's all ready to go as well let's take you up to this section you can see the very sort of standard swan black section there this sort of ridge towards the nib and then if we show you the nib let's keep it nice and still for you okay you'll see it says maybe Todd and company and then NY for New York and as you can see to the bottom it's got the correct number two nib okay 
So we've got the New York nib to it as well, which is the original nib. There's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath, a very recognisable swan feed with, as you can see, it's got the word swan written on the feed as well. Okay, so absolutely stunning in my opinion. A beautiful pen, a lovely sized pen and comfortable comfortable pen to hold and to write with. Pardon? Ah, you want to see it writing. <laughs> okay, so let's let's bring on some ink to the side here. Let's lift the lever up slightly. Dip the nib in the ink. There we go, We've got a little bit of bubbling going on, which is precisely what we want. Let's give it a little bit of a wipe. Ink to one side and bring on our little pad. So it'll be interesting to see how the pen writes. As I say, I've just just literally just finished it, so let's have a look how it writes. So what we've got is A swan cell filler made in New York. Now, what day was it made in New? I'm dating it around about the 1930s maybe getting into the 1940s but it's writing very nicely indeed and it's writing I would say with a little bit of well without no pressure sort of fine to medium but if we put a little bit of pressure on There we go, you can see, typical of these pens of this period, we've got a flexi nib. So as I say, writing with maybe from a fine to medium through to a broad line. As I say, a flexi nib, so we're getting a lovely variation in the line. But writing very nicely indeed. So let's pop the cap on. And there we have it, an absolutely stunning pen, as we said, the Swan L242-52 in this beautiful lapis blue, very sought after, very desirable, a stunning, stunning pen. So... I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, don't be shy. Leave a comment below, don't be shy. Give the video a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And don't forget people, wherever you are, please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye bye for now.